Grant Shapps is once again in trouble over his past business activities, the double life he led under the name Michael Green, and more questions about whether he's told the truth. Three weeks ago, he repeatedly denied on LBC Radio that he'd still run his internet business after he was elected an MP in 2005 can come across as very tricky, and it did for you when you operated under a different name. No, well, that, just to be clear, that was before I was an MP, I know. so that, not really. Your decision to, to separate your business and political life by using a different name, a pen name... Before going into name, politics, uh, yes. so to be absolutely clear, I don't have a second job and have never had a second job whilst being an MP. End of story. But in an audio interview, Michael Green, or Grant Shapps, did more than a year after he was first elected in 2006. He spoke about his stinking rich self-help guide, he was selling on his firm's website. Effectively, I'm doing that now with SR3, Stinking Rich 3, uh, is, a, is a product release which will be uh, later this summer. And, uh, uh, you know, but boy, what a lot of work to produce this stuff. Today, Grant Shapps admitted he'd screwed up on dates in the LBC interview and stated his case over firmly. But that's not enough for Dean Archer, a former Labour councillor who was forced by Shap's lawyers to correct a statement on Facebook. Threatening him with legal action, they made him say Shap's only used his pen name prior to entering Parliament. I think he should personally apologise to me in person. No writing. I want to see him do it personally on camera to apologise to me. Would that be the end of it if, if uh, Grant Shap's was to apologise to you? If he was to apologise, yes. I also feel that David Cameron should kick him out of touch. But tonight David Cameron made it clear that won't happen. But he obviously made a mistake by saying in some interviews that the work had stopped earlier than it had. And he's put that right, so I think we can put that uh, behind, uh, behind him. Uh, he's, um, he's doing a good job. The Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, described it as an unbelievable Labour, Guardian, BBC attack on Grant Shapps. But there still remain important questions about the integrity of Mr Shapps' businesses while he was still running them. Mr Green, how are you? <laughs> good, are you in 2012, this programme queried several testimonials on Shapps' business websites from people who seemed not to exist, such as Corrine Stock Heath from Surrey, England. We couldn't find a Corrine Stock Heath anywhere on the planet. What about Sir Corrine Stockheath of Surrey? Doesn't appear to be any Stockheath oh, anywhere in the world. That. There doesn't appear to be a Stockheath anywhere in the world. Is she genuine? Well, is that I can tell you, everybody is um, genuine. Uh, but I we've yet to find Corrine Stockheath. If you're watching, madam, please get in touch.